You are in deep thought. What's wrong? You do know we're doing overtime, right? Yeah, the boss put out a notice in the group chat. Wait a minute. What are you so worried about? Don't you live alone? Don't tell me you're living with someone now. Uh-huh. Adopted a stray. Okay, did you at least feed it earlier? Well, there's nothing you can do about it. You should just finish your backlog as soon as we can, I guess. Good luck. Could it kill you to at least send me a message if you're going to be home late? I don't need the food I already ate. Though you got lost on your way home or something, that's why you went out. Hey, it's home down your voice. You're going to wake the neighbors up. We don't want that now, right? Come on, it's cold. I want to sleep. Just ate some bread there. What? Is the bread expired or something? It expires tomorrow? Well, isn't that a good thing that I ate it all before it could expire? No food wasted, right? You've been sighing a lot lately. Was work tough? Uh, but do you want me to massage you or something? If you want me to. It's the least I can do. Though your back might be at risk of breaking. You sure? It might be painful, but some of the people I've given massages say it's worth it. Okay. If you need anything, just wake me up or something. I'm sleepy, so I'm going to pass out now. Yeah? Yeah, I have. I borrowed your shampoo. Mine kept making me sneeze, and yours had a comforting scent, so just use it. Can I sleep now? A blanket? I, I think I lost it. It's there somewhere, but I'm too sleepy to care. Okay, good night. Hey, after we graduate, will we still be friends? Not really. I mean, I'm used to being alone, but I wouldn't like it if we separated either, but... I actually have to go overseas. Yeah, I don't even know if you can call each other since you're taking my phone. Forgot to tell you this whole time, sorry. But yeah, that's the gist of it, I guess. I mean, isn't this normal? Some friendships tend to just drift away as time passes by, either by distance or differences with perspectives. Nonetheless, I'm not sure if I can even contact you, but I'll try, I guess. Not sure. Probably like five years or something. I didn't bother thinking about the details since there's nothing I can do about it anyway. Sorry. I know I promised to go to the same university, but I just can't change my parents' decision. I could try to run away, though. You're right. I could save up and come back here if I can. Yeah, that would take a lot of time. <sighs> Will you be sad if you don't see me? Well, an idiot, huh? Even though you always get the top score. You'd be called an idiot by one of the bottom scorers in her class or something else. I guess I'll come back for you. If I come back for you, will you take me in? I meant, will you take care of me? I'd have no money because plane tickets are expensive, and by then, my family would have disowned me for abandoning my role as well as disappointing them by running away. I'd be a disgrace with nowhere to go to, so if that happens, can you let me stay with you? If you say yes, I'll try my best to come back to you. Huh? You let me stay with you? But why? 
I don't think her history has anything to do with that, or maybe it does. Is this really one of the perks of being childhood best friends? Hmm, okay. If I like where I am, I won't go back, but if I want to go back to you, I can, right? I have somewhere to go back to, right? Alright. I think you'd be one of those people with a corporate job and just suffering with overtime when the time comes, honestly. Huh? Wait, are you actually going to work a corporate job? Your voice is so loud. Then again, I'll probably won't hear it for a while, so this is fine. <laughs> I do hope I get to stay with you in the future. You promise to keep me in, right? Then it's a promise. Oh, hey. Hello? Did you freeze in place? Should I let myself in? What? Didn't you promise me? You're backing down on your promise now? If you won't take me in, then I guess I'll just take my leave. Well, didn't I tell you years ago? If I were to run away, I'd have nowhere else to go. So, the streets it is. I wonder what food from a garbage can will taste. Oh, huh? What's wrong? I've always been serious, why? If you really can't, there's no helping it. It's fine with me. Well, as long as it provides sustenance, I don't really care where it comes from. Whether it might be from a five-star restaurant or a garbage can, I don't care. Uh, uh, okay. Did you make this yourself? Huh. Not really. Just didn't expect you to improve your cooking skills. Right. Five years can change a person, I suppose. The people there piss me off a lot and they keep meddling in things that are none of their business. Not to mention they keep pushing me to reach to ridiculously high standards, so I up and dipped. Studying is fine for me, but if your back is being watched constantly by so many people, Waiting for you to make a mistake, and then proceed to drag you down even more is too much. Join a secret mafia? I'm joking. I thought I'd get a better reaction from you. I was curious to see what reaction you'd have, and I guess I'm disappointed by the lack thereof. Thank you, though, for letting me in. I was prepared for the worst, really. I wouldn't mind scurrying and fighting food in the garbage cans that- Are you doing well? Mm-hmm. Well, the bag's under your eyes, say otherwise. Huh. So you did end up like one of those corporate people. My prediction was correct. You haven't had rest lately, have you? Okay. I have a suggestion. Would you like a personal body pillow? Worth a shot. Uh, can I take the couch? That's fine, I prefer the couch. I'm used to it. That just means you like exercise. I'll be fine. Besides, I wouldn't want to intrude anymore and use your bed too. Unless it gets too cold, I guess. What's well, fine? While you're also sleeping there? Is that an invitation? Oh, I thought it was some kind of invitation. Oh, right. I'll move out once you find a partner or something, since that would be a breach of privacy if I were to stay. Wait, I forgot to ask. Do you have a boyfriend? Girlfriend? Do you want one? Hmm, work-life problems, huh? I mean... You were the one who thought it was his promise. We were graduating high school, though. I guess you're right. <sighs> mm -mm. Oh, 
blanket. Oh. You're already up? Oh. 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 As expected, you'd look good in a suit. What are you getting all mad for? I was just complimenting you. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I was too alone with my phone the whole night and ended up scrolling until 4 a.m. Yeah, yeah. Oh? I didn't expect you to actually make some for me, too. Then again, you did promise to take care of me back then. You're a beet red. Mm, I'm going back to sleep. I'll eat breakfast later and good luck with work. Hey, you didn't see? The company is at risk of bankruptcy. <sighs> what the hell? What the hell is that boss doing after all those overtimes? This sucks. I don't know. I think one of the co-owners ran away with some of the money, so we don't even know if there's any money left to pay us for this week. I think it's best to just probably head home for today. You should really check the group chat. Is it your cat again? Go on, I'll send you a message if there's any updates. Make sure to read it this time, okay? Back early? Did your boss finally go easy on you or something? Are you okay? Hey, uh, are you crying? Did something happen? Here, take the sofa. I need to rest. Do you need anything? I can go get you something from the convenience store. Can you? Can you tell me what happened? Company? Bankruptcy. Does that mean you'll be... You don't need to find a new job that quick. I'll just leave. I'd feel bad if you have to force yourself to find another job and burn yourself out in the process. It's okay. I'll find a way. I'll try to see you as much as I can, though. Hey, I'll be okay. I don't know when that will be, but it might be sooner than you think. When we see each other again, I guess. So you use your saved up money for yourself in the meantime. I'll think of something. You don't need to worry about me. You don't want me to leave? <laughs> Aren't I just a freeloader, though? Or... Do you like me or something? Do you? <laughs> then there's no need for me to stay. I'll see you again. Thank you for letting me stay with you these past five months. <sighs> Goodbye. Took you long enough. The company saved. Yeah, I think someone bought the company at the last minute. I don't know who it is, but they kicked out the former CEO, so we have a new CEO now, I guess. Yeah, so we not only get to keep our jobs, but also all of us get a really generous raise. This new CEO is a godsend. Huh? Why do you still sound so sad? Oh yeah, and uh, I think the CEO wants to meet you personally for some reason. We've been working really hard lately, after all the one who's been working the most overtime among us after all. You could say you were more or less carrying the weight of the company behind your back too, so maybe they have a reward for you? I don't know, but I'm sure they sent you an email. 
Well then, I'm going to go celebrate with my girlfriend. Talk to you later. Right this way, miss. It's through this door. I'll be awaiting your orders. Thank you. Is the place there like it? I'm not used to preparing these kinds of things, so this might come off as awkward, not to mention. These clothes are way too formal for me. Uh, that. I guess you can already tell I lied. I actually fulfilled what they wanted and they were pleased with the results. So I ended up getting this kind of freedom in a way, I guess. I wasn't really planning on staying with you. I thought it was unfair. I didn't expect you to honestly accept me like that though. I'm sorry. Seeing you again for the first time, I had difficulty acting the way I usually do and ended up being tense. We have gotten so pretty since that, that I panicked. <sighs> Truly sorry for taking advantage of you during that moment. I just wanted to stay for a few days before leaving, but I got too comfortable with you. I, I can pay you back for the expenses, if you need it. But before any of that, I just want to let you know how I really feel about you. I like you. I know I don't really show it, but I, I've liked you since high school. It's really difficult for me to express my affection towards the people I really like. And I even end up giving them the wrong idea with the things I say, but please believe me when I say I truly want to cherish and protect you with all my heart. Back then, I really wanted to confess, but it seemed that it wasn't the right time and I was going away anyway, so... But I just realized how much of a coward I was. Mutual? Oh, you also liked me since then, too. got too happy that my legs gave out. Sorry. <laughs> my nerves are getting the best of me. Is it weird seeing me like this? I'm not used to any of this. <sighs> Even though I tried so hard to appear cool and collected around you, only for it to come crashing down. I still am. When I saw your crying face, I really wanted to hug you back then, but felt that I didn't deserve to, since I was simply a freeloader and doing that would be crossing the line. I'm sorry. C can I? Oh, lovers? So, I can finally... Feels nice. You're so warm. I thought I could touch you more since we're lovers. Your chest feels comfy. That's soft. Huh? Are you okay? I'm just saying what's on my mind. What being lovers mean? Of course I do. That means we get to do some really suggestive stuff, right? Isn't this what they call teasing? <laughs> You're shivering, just like a lost kitten. Cute. 
after all. But if you ever need anything, I'm here. Do you not like me being affectionate? Another kiss before you order. <laughs> 